this week I'm in Los Angeles here at our business where we screen print labels on beautiful glass bottles. So in case you're ever needing a glass bottle with a premium screen label, give me a holler. Uh, the rest of the family is back home in Bend, Oregon. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. This is episode 13. Yeah. Okay. And it's crazy. It's been 13 weeks. Anyways, this week was super special because we were able to go to a little mountain called Summit. Um, Snow Summit. Snow Summit in Big Bear. And mom's going to tell you a little bit more about it. Yeah, my husband ski patrolled there for about six or seven years. saw me ski which was one of his prerequisites for marrying me apparently I didn't know about that and then my oldest daughter uh, learned to ski there when she was two years old uh, we just have a boatload of memories there we had so much fun skiing with our uh, my sister and her family as well as yeah we had one of my cousins come up and one of my really good friends Be one of my best friends and who happens to also be my brother-in-law Brad Dindolk here and dude, we are skiing for the first time in a long time. Oh yeah. You just scored on something. Yes, I did. What was it? So I was completely inspired by your trip and all the different places that you were able to go to. So we were watching what you guys were doing. I was doing the calculations on an icon pass and I thought, you know what? It takes four times for us to pay for itself. That means the fifth time is free. And after that, they're paying me to ski. So this, you is, to ski, this is my ICAM pass. And I will tell you that my family is so excited uh, to have this Boom. ICON pass. <laughs> Get it. it today. Get it. <laughs> This has been one of the highlights of my trip. I'm here with Terry McDonald. He started with me. I did. We were married. I, w I came here as an 18 year old and he took a risk and gave me my first ski job. And now look at and it. And now look at it. You're it went out of control. Skiing. We're still skiing it and we're skiing together, Terry. We got to see Terry McDonald, who has worked there for 40 years. He is looking great. He is awesome. It was amazing. And then after that, of course, you're very hungry. We went to a restaurant called La Paz. I want to put a plug in for them because it's a little wow. hole in the wall place. It doesn't sit that many people, but the value for the food that you get is really good. After that evening, we drove from Big Bear. We went to Ridgecrest. We stay at a lot of hotels. This one isn't that popular, but it is clean. Mm -hmm. The beds are very nice. We decided to hang out in the sun. Oh, it was so wonderful. I like love sun. They had a little pool there and a hot tub. The pool was very cold. But you know, Johnson's love cold water, so the kids were all Except over it. So after Ridgecrest, where'd we go? Travel the Mammoth. Whoop whoop. Yes, it was my very first time to Mammoth Mountain. Yeah. 
I've never skied there before. You haven't either. Mm -hmm. But um, it was great. This is the first time that we stayed in a condo on this trip. It was a little disorganized at first. Mm -hmm. But my goal as a mother is to bring order to our house as soon as possible. The mountain made up for everything the condo lacked. <laughs> um, the mountain was absolutely phenomenal. We went the first day, it was super stormy. You could barely see anything. But you could tell there was great terrain, you know, if you could see where you were going, it was gonna be clutch. My son, wasn't feeling the best. It was Barrington, my 12 year old. I said, hey, I think he was a little dehydrated. So I said, I'm gonna stay home with you. Good excuse, right? <laughs> I'll stay home with you. And uh, we ended up playing Monopoly and Scrabble. It made my heart so happy because in the evening he said, mommy, all I needed was some time with mommy, playing games, good food, some rest, and I'm ready to go tomorrow. When you're on a trip like this, everybody can't keep the pace all the time. And so we need to be sensitive to that. and. So mm -hmm. we had a super fun time. But it snowed that evening, and the next day it was bluebird. Fresh oh, yeah. powder everywhere. Wind packed powder in all the bowls. I mean, it was gorgeous. And our friend Brendan Stevens, who skis Mammoth all the time, came and was yeah. kind of our guide and took us to the summit, which was all open. Our boys there are going to tell you about what they experienced. <laughs> it was something else. <laughs> yeah. Right. So tell me, what was your highlight at Mammoth, guys? Oh man, it was definitely this uh, one shoot that had an interesting name at the top of Mammoth, right off the tram. Um, we went up there and I just spotted it off the tram and it was looked like a super fun, uh, kind of sketchy line. Fresh powder, we were the first people to go down it. Um, didn't know what was at the bottom, ended up being a decent sized cliff uh, that we all ended up hucking. And I think we did it, I did it three times, Daddy did it twice in Barrington. He jumped in on the last one, and uh, that was the biggest thing you've ever done, right? Yeah, it was. I wouldn't have done it unless uh, all of them went first. Because I could see from the bottom the first time they did it, so it helped me a lot. So yeah. Was it about a 40-foot cliff? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Definitely a highlight, great yeah. turns, and uh, super fun stoke. That dropper, bro. Whoa, but you glad you did it? Yeah. No, no, not too bad on the landing? Uh-huh. Dude, I'm so proud of you. I mean, you really did a phenomenal job. It's almost stomped it. I mean, yeah. it just spun out, spun out. Send it! We had um, two sets of strategic coach clients where my husband works as a coach come ski with us, meet their families. We had one of them over for dinner, which was really special. Hey, we got Kevin Shivers here. Look at this. You got Kevin? Yeah. All the way. And Mr. Tom. What's your last name? Grace. Oh, Grace. I know that. Come on. <laughs> I'm like, come on. And then we got Kathleen over what here. Up? Yeah, what up? We got, who's over here? Brendan Stevens, all yeah. the way from uh, Long Beach, California as well. Coming up the rip. Yeah. Dean Baylor. Oh, yeah. You went off a jump. I did. Yeah. I landed on, I landed on my rope. That was a whole That's new right. move. Yeah, it was sore. Whole new move. We won't discuss the details of that right yeah, now. Yeah, just bruises. Ow. And then the two beauty queens. Woo! <laughs> shout out the jacuzzi. I hit a tree. You hit a tree. Yeah. And uh, with your head and your knee. Yeah. And you're doing better than that? Yes. Look at that. Look at that. It blew a hole in her knee. 
Go directly. <laughs> That's what I call hard hit. Your younger sister came too, Aunt Jolene oh, yeah. and Uncle Ben, who actually live in Ridgecrest. They weren't there when we were passing through, and they stopped in and talked. So that was so much fun to see them. While we were on Mammoth, we ran into our friends from JH Ranch. JH Ranch is a Christian camp that my father founded. Um, I worked there for 12 years. It's where my husband and I got married. So we met some of our friends on the mountain. They're like, oh my goodness, there's, that has to be the Johnsons. <laughs> We got we get off on the summit and then they have their mascot up there, which is the mammoth woolly is what they call him. Yeah, the woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth. <laughs> anyway, it was cute. It was I love surprises like that. Yeah, very fun. <gasps> Later, we went to the hot springs out in the middle of nowhere. Oh my word. I didn't go, but I saw the pictures. Yeah, like, it was a two mile hike to get out there because on the GPS it said you could drive the road, but it was closed because of snow conditions. So, I mean, we had kids in Chacos, we had people in Birkenstocks. Like, Birkenstocks. I mean, it was bad. <laughs> date night again which was fun always to just have some time just with Chad and I look at that there she is again Mwah. on a date with my lover we uh, went to Thai food and uh, I didn't know you could mess up Thai food no uh, it was pretty rough <laughs> anyways <laughs> we're enjoying the village here and uh, what a beautiful place I mean white lights big clock great architecture this you can tell new, right? all new in this area compared to from when I have been here last. But anyways, we're having a ball. The next day we packed up our stuff and Chad had an emergency in LA and needed to get there. So he ended up having to <laughs> hitchhike. hitchhike because the there was no Uber to take him there. There they go. There leaves my family. Safe travels, my loved ones. And they're heading north. And I'm gonna do some work here in Mammoth and then I fly to LA because business is calling in Los Angeles. The adventure continues. Out, I'll pay you 50 bucks if you'll get me to the airport. Apparently there's no Uber and Lyft and you have to book a taxi 24 hours in advance, which I did not know. Anyways, trying to get that ride, appreciate it. Willing to help a brother out, all right, thanks. We traveled on up here to bend we got here about seven o'clock in the evening and we're welcomed by the most beautiful sunset ever it was breathtaking yes it really was <laughs> Um, igloos all washed, things put away, totally set for the next day in two hours. Yeah. We got there at seven. Mm -hmm. We were ready to go to bed by nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. And I told kids, we're having a school day. We're going to jump up and get back on schedule. Did school. We had a fun day. I took the two young girls out, to, my youngest girls, out to Costco, Trader Joe's. Empty fridges, got to fill them. Oh, this is freezer. Went to Costco, got a bunch of stuff. Our freezer now has some food in there, and then refrigerator. People wonder how a big family like us eats. We eat a lot, so we have a little triple wide um, fridge outside in the garage. Baylor was working on his business. He has a window washing business with his buddy Elisha, 
and they are wanting to wrap another van. And then we had a super fun surprise. We were here and some of our good friends, they're known as the Epic Family Road Trip. They have also a great YouTube channel. You guys should seriously go check them out. But they've been traveling, I mean, the world pretty crazily, shipped a package to our house. And so they needed to swing by and pick that up, which we weren't disappointed about because I mean, they're friends and they're, they're really fun to hang out with. Yes. So they ended up coming and we got to hang out with them for a little bit, even though it was short and it was very fun though. It was so fun to hear about so. their adventures and share our adventures. And there's just something that's really special about mm -hmm. kind of going out into the world and getting out of your regular routine and the things you learn about your family and relationships and places. And we have that in common with this family and we're so excited about um, where they're headed. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. We are not done. The Big Ski family has a whole slew of adventures planned over the next few months. Um, some people said, well, what's the Big Ski family do when winter ends? First of all, winter never ends. It's snowing somewhere on this planet all the time. And so we have some other adventures planned around that, but we also have some adventures um, on the off season that we'd love to bring you along because we are literally serious about our mission about bringing others into outdoor activities, family activities, putting priority on marriage and family and times together. And we're gonna to continue to share this message as we go. So subscribe if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, follow along, comment, share, share with people you know who care about marriage, faith, family, um, spending time outdoors, doing life differently, maybe doing life through an entrepreneurial freedom model, because we have so much to share in the upcoming episodes. Thanks so much, have a great day.